Hi guys and welcome back to the shop. I'm Anthony Wood and this is Shop Mad. In today's video I'm going to be making some 90 degree angle clamps. I'm just going to use 18mm MDF to make these 90 degree angle clamps. Now the reason why I'm making them is because I've got a project coming up in the near future where I need to join some large boards together and I physically just don't have any 90 degree angle clamps in the shop. So it's a perfect opportunity to get these made and show you guys how I've done it. So let's walk through the build process right so I've got the 18 millimeter MDF uh, on the worktop now and I'm just going to mark it out and I'm going to make two squares at 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters Right, so I'm just going to get these two panels now cut out. Right then guys, one square is going to equate to two 90 degree angle clamps. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut from corner to corner a 45 degree angle across. Now this is going to create two clamps. So I'm going to get this done now at the radial arm saw. Right guys, I've got all of the clamp blanks made now. But what I want to do is I want to create like a clamp holding area so I need to cut out a section here so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to mark in 50 millimeters and 200 millimeters from the back edge forward right so I'm gonna to have to draw this on twice on either side and I'm going to mark it on both sides that's so when I use the bandsaw to cut these sections out I know where to stop with the line right guys I've got the clamps all marked out now and I need to remove these sections here now there's going to be two of these either side of the clamp so I'm going to get this run over to the bandsaw now and I'm going to get these cut out Right, so I've got these two sections now cut out ready for the clamps, but I also need to put cut this piece off here at 45 degree angle. So I'm going to measure in either side 270 millimeters. And again, I'll run this over to the bandsaw and get this small section cut off. Right, I want to put some kind of hole in here, but with a flat edge on the bottom. Now this is for when I make another clamp that fits here, it'll act as a mitre clamp, as well as clamping two boards together, it'll also clamp a perfect mitre on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up from the bottom 50 millimeters. Now this is for the hole center for a 35 millimeter forcing a bit so I'm just going to get this whole center marked off now I'm now just going to go over to the drill press and I'm going to use the 35 millimeter forcing a bit and I'm going to get this whole board out now now I've marked the lines going straight down from the edge of the 35 millimeter hole I've just cut into and then just mark them straight up against the 30 millimetre line I'd marked up from the bottom. Now I'm going to cut this shape out now over at the scroll saw. Right 
So now you should basically have this kind of shape. Now in order to make the mitre clamp itself, I need to make some square blocks at 100 millimeters square. Now the stock I'm using is 30 millimeters thick. And now I'm just going to clean up the facing edges. I'm now just going to start by marking out how I want this clamp to look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark in 40 millimeters and 40 millimeters from here to here. Right, so I've got a whole centre mark now. I'm, I'm now just going to run over to the drill press and I'm going to use a 20mm forcing a bit and I'm just going to bore this hole out here all the way through. Right guys, the lines are drawn on to create a 40mm edge all the way around. I now need to just cut this section out here to reveal the mitre clamp itself. So I'm going to do this now over at the bandsaw. I need to put a 45 degree angle on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure up 70mm from either side. And then just line up and mark out a 45 degree angle. Right and guys it's looking quite square and boxy so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a radius on each side just to flatten out the, the bulky squareness of it all. So I've kind of got this bottle which I'm going to use because it's exactly 40 millimeters in diameter and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this just so I can round off these edges. And again what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the excess off using the bandsaw and then I'm going to go over to the bench sander and I'm just going to clean all these edges up. Right then guys, the corner clamp brackets are now made along with a mitre clamp. Now I'm just going to run through how this actually goes together. Um, if you would like to make one yourself, there is a free SketchUp file which I'll leave a link in the description. It's basically just on my website so if you would like to make your own, please feel free to use it. So I'm just going to crack on now and I'm just going to show you how this all works. It is really really simple, all you do is Line the first clamp up and just clamp it to the board. When that's clamped on, now line up the edge of the two boards that you want to join together and then clamp this clamp together. Now that would be pretty strong in itself, but if you were to use a, a mitered edge here, 
then you would need a lot more clamping force in this area so hence the reason why I've made these little mitre clamp and all you do to use the mitre clamps is position it on the corner and then just nip it up until it's snug and that's basically it so that is super super strong now now I've only put one clamp on this side but realistically you would put one either side of the board so you've got them all lined up so like I say I think I can call this one a success well guys I really hope you enjoyed the build I know it's been a bit of a quick one but the clamps are what they are the clamps um, if you like the video please give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for new content being added on a weekly basis thanks for watching bye for now